it has been tough. Everything in Texas is $2 a mile or below. I mean, I'm talking about $1.18, $1.80, uh, 98 cents going 1,000 miles, 98 cents going like to Montana from Texas. It's it's crazy. It, it's, 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 it's bizarre that people are even taking these loads. I had a full conversation with somebody on the phone yesterday. I put it on my Instagram. Like I said, if you guys are not tapping with the Instagram, you guys are missing out. I dropped so much videos on Instagram that just you won't see every day on the YouTube channel. You just won't see it because it's easier to just take my phone, record something, upload it, put it on Instagram. But I talked to this guy, he worked at TQL, and he was just talking about the situation with the low boards and stuff like that. Uh, six. Six already pre-booked for tomorrow. I'm gonna try to take three more, three or four more tomorrow. But these race ain't where they normally be supposed to be, man. I'm just, they, they not, really. And you got, you got, like you the, get, I you like get. The, I like the guy. What you say? My bad to cut you off, but you got 50 trucks a week taking 1,600 for how many miles? 700. 50 trucks a week. For you, 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 <laughs> Houston and Carrots, it's about 750 miles, 770 miles. Man, look, I mean, I mean, I know you're doing your job, you know, go get your money, but it's it's crazy that people are really taking that, man. They, the race is not, man. People have to work, G. I just picked up a second. I've been at TQL going on 10 years. I just picked up a second job, G. Yeah. And it ain't that I, it ain't, I mean, I went through a divorce some things, but it ain't that I ain't getting by, but you got to do, man, you got to do what you got to do, bro. It ain't, nothing ain't the same no more, man. People is, it ain't the same like it was, bro. Money ain't even worth what it was. Yeah, I know, man. It's, 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 it it's, it's changing bad. And it's, I, oof, normally, man. if something like this, I would have paid, if it was all things regular, you probably could have got about 18, 19, maybe even 2,000, but I ain't, I can't get you 2,000. I can get you 17. But I can't pay two thousand how I normally, and that's not being unfair, really. If you say give me nineteen, give me two thousand, it's not being unfair or unrealistic. But right now it ain't, it ain't, it ain't running like that right now, G. Yeah, I know, man. Man. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm gonna let you get back to my dispatch, man. Good conversation, man. I just, I just had to ask, man. You know, just. I get you seventeen. You sound like a cool guy, man. You ask questions, I mean, you ain't unreasonable. You know, some guys call one twenty-eight. It's not gonna happen. Three thousand miles is not. Going right now, yeah. So only thing I can do is try to be fair, you know, communicate. Which I got a twenty-four hour receiver, so you ain't, I ain't got you ain't got to hold it for no longer than you want to. Um, and it's going to Carrollton right outside Atlanta, so you will be in a good area. You still be in the south, but guys is being kind of picky choosy where they want to go, you know. Yeah, I know, man. But I just paid five thousand for a reefer load. I got a reefer load load tomorrow from New Jersey. Might well say Newark, going to L.A. It's 2,800 miles, man. I paid 5,000. And it's zero to negative 10 on the load. And they, that's what they running. You know, now coming out of California, going back to New Jersey, it's been 8,000. But going back to California, it's 5,000. 45, 47, 5. Yeah. I, I, a, a, I guess I'm, I want to be that guy to be like, people are really taking that. But like you just said, people got to work. You said you picked up a second job. So I guess I got to understand it. Like, people got I trucks to pay for it. I ain't they, bro. I just did my, walked in on Friday. I got off, got off TQL. I got off Friday, last Friday. Uh, did what I had to do when walked up there, talked to the manager at Lowe's about 8 30. It was already late. Hey, I ain't had a second job, and I, I can't even remember. I ain't even, I know how to steal AV or something like that, but I've been in TQL eight years. I ain't had to have work on a second job. I walked in there at 8 30, told him, put in my face, told him, I'm a single dad, this is what I'm doing, and I'm just trying to, when I ain't got my kids and I ain't working TQL, I got a job already. I'm going to take you straight up, I got a job, but when I ain't doing that, I'm going, I want to work. I just want to make some extra money, you know, whatever. So I take a little part-time job, or you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I feel that, man. Well, shit, I'm going to let you go, man. Just just, just have a good day, man. I'm not I'm not going to take the load, but, you know, just just have a good day, though, man. For sure. Appreciate the what, conversation. What, what you think you'll need on something like this is get, to go to character, man, right outside Atlanta? I mean, you got, like, we've been talking. I mean, we've been talking for a minute. I mean... <laughs> I'm three dollars a mile type of guy, man. <laughs> I I can't I can't do it for that, especially with the Twit card and everything else that you said I gotta do, and throw some tarps on it. I I can't do it for no two twenty one, man. I, I can't. Seven fourteen twenty one. You want twenty three? I I ain't, I ain't even quote that. G, to be yeah, I know, man. And that's what I'm saying. I ain't, I ain't gonna break your heart. I ain't gonna break you to do that, so it's it's all good, you know. Just whoever else, let let somebody else get it who needs it, cause I don't need that. I got you. Well, if anything changes, give me a call, man. Appreciate that, man.
it was just a conversation of just understanding that, yo, people got to work, bro. Like, this is the market. This is the industry we're in right now. This is what it's gotten to. People have got to work. And these are what people are doing. People have trucks to pay for. People have bills to pay for. They got kids that are in college. They got kids that are not in college yet. They got wives that, you know, want to go on shopping sprees or whatever. You know what I mean? So they got holidays. You got Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, um, Christmas. You got birthdays. You got all these things that us as Americans enjoy every single day that they got to take care of. And it's been tough, man. It's been tough. But thank God we held out. We almost did take a load yesterday for $2 a mile. Back wheels closer together? Nope. No. 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 My dad found us a load with one of our direct shippers. We got some helicopter blades about to pick up. Same place we picked up from last time we was in Texas. And we're about to take those back home to Georgia. Literally right across the street from my house. And yeah, we took a load for $3 a mile. All right, man, what up, what up, what up? Right? Oh, shit. Um, get some light in here. Hey, the Yeah, it look crazy on your head. Not Yeah, because I don't know what my other hat is. I don't know if anybody will know what this is. I'm gonna just show you guys. You guys probably won't even know what it is, but it's an important piece that I'm glad it finally came in. So this is something that's gonna be really, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna do a lot to the truck. Now you're gonna be surprised, especially when I put the floors in, in the next couple of weeks, these, it's gonna do a lot to the truck. Look at Pops. Look at Pops. Look at Pops. Pops actually got home um, earlier than me. I came home last night. He was home a day before me. I think he's getting some maintenance done on his truck, so he ain't gonna be on the road um, this week. Yeah, he's staying. Actually, he's got a load to pick up today, but he doesn't like the load. Like I said, man, this market is really tough. He got a load. It was like a one pick, one one pick. No, yeah, one pick, three drops, and of course, you know, they ain't paying shit. And he didn't want to uh, take that load because it was just some bullshit. So he decided that you know what, I'm gonna wait until the last very minute to go pick that load up. So that way I can decide if I really want that load or not. And I agree with him. I'm like, man, do what you gotta do, man, because these loads out here are trash. Good thing about where I'm dropping off my load at today, though, is, is that the load actually drops off right there. <laughs> so I live like 14 minutes away, and we've been parking our trucks here at this uh at this warehouse, and we got real cool the guys who work right there. And you know, um, we pick up loads, drop off loads for them, and stuff like that. And at the same time, I get to park my truck right over here, so. Man, um, if you was a robber, you would have killed me, yo. What, you didn't see me? Hell no. Yeah. I've been in my phone this whole time. I just, oh, I looked man. up and there was a car in front of me. All right, y'all. So the video was cut a little short. Um, didn't do too much footage. But, you know, the video is basically on the rates. You know, everything that's going on in the industry right now. Texas is messed up. And when I say messed up, it's it's just a lot of people live there. A lot of people start their trucking companies there. A lot of people go there. Texas is a hub for trucking overall, essentially. A lot of hot shots are there. A lot of box trucks are there. You got a lot of competition. When you're out there on the market, you're out there on the, on the DAT load boards, on the truck stop, or whatever you use, your direct shipper, whoever you're using, you got to pick your destination accordingly. You don't want to just go to Texas when you know Texas is paying $2 a mile or less. 
You got to find some place else to go. I go to the Northeast and I'll drop off Monday, knowing that I got about two or three days to pick something up decent to come up out of there and still be able to drop off by Friday. So it's the way you move your truck. It's the way you load up your truck. You know, if you know you're going to go to Texas, you got, you got to come out with something. You know, for instance, when we went to Texas, we got our direct shipper, which we didn't really know even had loads coming out of Texas. And she gave us loads coming out of Texas to come right back to Georgia, paying $3 a mile. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say $3 a mile is nothing either. It's, it's not a lot of money. Like, you're talking about $3 a mile like it's a lot, but that's the market right now. You go to Texas, all them rates are $2 a mile or below. So, for us to go to Texas and get $3 a mile and come out, are we going to do, go there again? Probably not. Now, she sends us over there to go, you know, drop off a load, which, of course, we know we're going to get $3 more to go over there, or probably $4. We need $3 to come right back out. That's the only reason we'll go to, go to Texas. Just overall, though, man, you got to stop crying about the rates. If you're in the trucking game, you're in the trucking game for whatever reason you're in the game for, it's the market. If you're going to go to Texas, you know what you're going to get. So another thing that I want you guys to take is stop taking your truck to Texas. Stop taking your truck to Florida. Okay, like straight up. Because when you go there, you're forced to take them. I did it too. I was about to take that, that little track that you guys saw. Good thing it did not fit for $2 a mile. Then he wanted me to pick up another load the same night that was coming from Austin, coming back up, that was going to fit on the back of the trailer for like another, I think it was like a dollar something a mile, you know, something like that. It was, it's horrible rates. So if you don't go to Texas, you're not... You don't have to take those loads, which keeps those loads on the board. The people who live in Texas are going to have to decide they're going to take those loads or not. But because Texas is oversaturated with a whole bunch of competition, it's going to be like that for a minute now. It just is what it is. So you just stop going to Texas. A lot of people don't go to Florida. We don't go to Florida. We go to Florida and we got a good, good, good load going to Florida. But we try not to go to Florida. Every time we do go to Florida, we go in there with like $5 a mile or more. And we know, okay, we come out. Our house is in Georgia. We can deadhead up a little bit because we don't go too far. I think we go to Orlando, and that's it. Orlando is six hours away from my house. So stop going to Texas. Stop going to places right now that, that are forcing you that to are take. forcing you to take cheap freight. There stop it. Don't 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 go there. The guys with like five trucks, two trucks, ten trucks on their fleet. We don't really dictate no market. Stop thinking we do. We don't. The guys with fifty trucks. The guys with a hundred trucks. The guys with 200 trucks, those are the guys who dictate the market. Because let's say, for instance, a guy calls a broker and says, hey, man, if you give me this load for 280 a mile consistently, every 